Hi, this week for the Notable Award winner list, I picked uh, Baby Monkey Private Eye by Brian Selternick and um, David Serlin. Um, this was a very interesting read. It was a very interesting book, just uh, how it was formatted. Um, I like how in the inside plot it says this. I'm going to read it, actually. It says, um, it blends elements of picture book, beginning reader, and graphic novel, which I think is a great... Um, little explanation of how this book is formatted as you can see it's just you know big text and then it's got pictures and it's um sketch pictures um the book is really like that it's got a lot of pictures um it's a, mostly illustration i would say i think that's more of the children's book side um and I, it has a lot of like introductory words and not very big words so um you know kids I, I said it would be first through um, second grade, but um, I think that it could also be used for higher levels like third or fourth with students who are a little bit of lower level readers. Um, I think that would be a great, you know, book for them to read just so that they don't feel like they're reading children's books or kids books um, per se and they feel a little bit more grown up reading a chapter book because this book is designed as a chapter book. Um, so now I'll tell you a little bit about what the book is actually about. Um, baby Monkey Private Eye is about a baby monkey who is a detective. And um, three or four people come and ask him for help finding their missing things or stolen things. So, for example, there was a clown that was missing his nose. And um, he goes and finds it. And it was, I think it was a snake had stolen his, um, the clown's nose. And it shows how, like, um... The baby monkey has to go through a certain routine before he's ready to actually, you know, start his mission. So it shows how he um, looks for clues, how he takes notes, and then he eats his snack, and then um, he puts his pants on. And for each person that comes to ask for his help, he does the same little routine. Um, and I think it's kind of cute that it shows the monkey struggling to put his pants on for each one. Um, at the very end, the last character that comes to ask the monkey for help um, is a mystery person. And um, the mystery person is looking for their baby. And um, baby monkey doesn't have to go through his little routine because he is the baby and the mystery person is his mom. Um, the author mostly does um, his pictures, or the illustrator, sorry, well, I guess it is the author. Um, anyways, the illustrations are mostly black and white sketched, um, pencil sketched, um, except there's a few colors and the only time there's colors is whenever um, the item is found. So um, for the nose, that was colored. Um, when the monkey, the baby monkey was found, um, there was color in that picture. Um, also whenever there was someone, a uh, pizza man looking for his pizza, the pizza was colored and, um, so on and so on. Um, the activity that I would do for this is I picked out that I would hide something in my classroom and then I would have, um, worksheet for students to decode so I would make up my own code and I would have students decode my message and then go find the object I hid I would then have students pair up and they would do this exact same thing um, with their partner so they would hide something and make up a code and a message and then have their partner decode it and then find the object I think that would be a fun little activity and you know they get to um, use their um, skills of connecting letters and shapes and I think that'll be fun for them and I think that would um, be great and I think this book is a great transitional book and I think it'd be great for first, second and maybe lower level readers for third and fourth. Thank you.